Yeah. Oh my. New little food plot unit. Dude, this is gonna be awesome. Tell me this is not gonna be so valuable around here. Skid loader, quick attach bucket. We got the 60 inch mower, the food plot mulcher. We've got the land pride four foot tiller. Dude, I can already think of spots that you have, that I have, that this is gonna be so, dude, it's gonna be so handy. Brand new unit, like 35%. It was, dude, it was ridiculous. Oh, dude. But like almost the same price as most of the stuff that I was looking at, it was 10, 15 years old. It would be sweet. You, think, he th he thinks it's his. <laughs> He's like, dad got me a tractor, bro. I know it'll actually actually be able to use it very versatilely. I was telling him too, it's a nice size that I can still use my half ton Ram, this truck to haul it around and it doesn't overload the truck. It doesn't overload the capabilities of it and it'll pull it around just fine. Dude, let's get this thing fired up and pulled out. pretty freaking fun and it was pretty effortless i mean the soil type helps it's pretty loose around the bank of the creek but pretty sweet mm -hmm. i mean look at that work it's not nice. bad man that's nice not too shabby not too shabby at all
Hey, and Marsh, you know, just, just loved it. Yeah, I know. Oh, look. It's, she got a nice horn. <laughs> Compared to, like, my dad's John Deere, it sounds on par with that. So we have had the first, how many hours have we put on this thing? I had like one or 1 1.2 when I got it. I think we're at 3.4. So we're at 3.4 currently, the kid's trying to run away. So I'm gonna have to keep this fairly swift here. So far, so good. Definitely loving the machine so far. These little subcompact tractors are just, they're very interesting because they're super capable, but they're just such small units. So I've got the buckets, of course, all dirty. The mower is on and we had to push and move a lot of dirt. Um, and just to be clear, no, I did not cram a bunch of dirt up under the mower. I was kind of worried about that too, um, but it did not jam a bunch of dirt up in there. It did get a bunch of dirt on the pad there, which is gonna happen. And the tractor did really, really well. That tiller in the back definitely helps with that counterweight. But here's what we worked on. Thank you, thank you, again. We got a creek right here and there's really no great way to cross it with a tractor or even the four wheeler being two wheel drive without damming it up, putting in some kind of small culvert or PVC. And this is really flooded right now. Normally the creek is not this high 
Um, normally it's way lower, but I think it was a day or two ago, we got like three inches of rain, like something ridiculous in 24 hours. And literally this creek was flooded like way up into the woods and everywhere else. Um, it was really, really, you can see some of the puddles of water up over there still. I know it was really flooded. So for now, as a temporary fix here, we did put a small culvert in there to dam this up. And I did get back and forth across here with the tractor a couple of times. And of course, until this water goes down, it's there's a chance that it'll end up flooding over here, you know, with that small of a culvert in there. But ordinarily, like I've got these little ankle shoes that are waterproof up to here. And I like I usually walk through this creek and don't get my feet wet. Um, because it's usually just so low. So I think after this water goes down here to normal levels, other than the occasional monsoon, this should do, this should do us fine. But I got this very nicely graded, very nicely leveled out from there all the way down and across. And there's a little bit more I want to do with getting this dirt and some rock and kind of banking it up even higher along through here to connect over to this portion here to kind of level this out all through here so it doesn't get too washed out but i'm gonna get a bunch of rock once i'm done with this and pack it on here so the dirt doesn't wash away and for the time being i'm not putting the rock on because i had an idea in my head i was going to be able to get across here and start to take a bunch of this rock out of the bank here and kind of pack that creek rock on there but the problem is by the time i got across I got one load of rock. As you can see that one load. I got one load of rock out of the creek and then I had, I don't know why I didn't think about it before. I'm like, wait a minute, if I get a bucket full of water and rocks and dump it on here, yeah, I'll have the rocks, but now I'm gonna have a bunch of stinking water dumped on top of the bank and it's gonna make it a mud mess. I'm not gonna be able to get across, which I did one load and I said, I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna do this while the creek's slaughtered. I'm gonna have to wait till the creek goes to normal levels that way I can get a lot more of that rock that's exposed that's not down in the water so I can move rock around without it washing out and turning the whole thing into a mud mess. Again, let me give you a good old, good visual here. I don't know if you guys recall how steep that bank was. It was about a three feet drop, you know? And so I just took a bunch of dirt out of the side here, off the trail, down in the side, which is nice because it'll also help with keeping this trail from flooding much if I keep, you know, if I take dirt down off the sides of it, not on top of it. But uh graded this down, packed it in. And I mean, so far, so far so good. Now I just gotta fill in more dirt and rock up through here to make it all level. That way it doesn't become such a mess. But other than that, we should be in pretty good shape here soon. For day one, it did pretty, it did pretty good. Pretty impressed with the little unit. You really can get a whole lot of stuff done. It just, you know, takes a little longer with a smaller machine. But you can definitely get plenty done. And especially in some of those smaller areas where turning radius needs to be small and the machine itself cannot be very big. These things come in handy incredibly. I mean, the work I did today, any tractor much bigger would have been a little bit of a pain for the small area that I was working in. Well, this thing got the job done perfectly for what I needed. And I did wash it up, although it's inevitable. It's going to get dirty again. I fully understand. But let me let me enjoy the feeling of a nice new machine for a little while. And I am going to be having to take that trailer back here today. But look at this beautiful, beautiful first gen here. 12 out Cummins. Comes with $5,000 in cash. You can get entered to win this truck right now at lnpgear.com. And every $1 you spend is going to get you 20 entries towards winning this thing only until sunday which when you see this video it could be sunday well it's either saturday or sunday when you see this so definitely take advantage of that while you can because one of these entries are coming to a close very rapidly and the giveaway itself is ending in pretty much one week anyways guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video peace